So, I just got this. It arrived in the mail today. This is the Journey Instruments Travel Carbon Fiber Guitar. Their claim is that it's supposed to sound like a full-bodied guitar, but be a smaller, more portable version. So that's what we're here today to find out. All right, let's open this up. So it comes in this nice backpack thing. It's actually really cool. It's got a backpack strap that you can pull out. Oh, this little hiding case. So if you want it to be a more compact, you can, but you can also make it just a backpack and then the attachments slide out from there. So that's pretty cool. If you want to use this as your suitcase, I guess you could do that pretty well. They sent a t-shirt too. I haven't played this yet, because I want to actually have an organic impression. So this is my first time taking a look at it. Tar body right there. And then it looks like our strings are all attached. So there's the neck. So I think this entire guitar is fully carbon fiber. Huh, those are some clean frets. <laughs> Okay, does this just pop in? Oh! No. There we go! <laughs> Looks like that's it. Okay, so it just clicks into place right there. That's pretty cool. And then, I guess the screw... I have not read the instruction manual. I wanted to see if this was intuitive enough to do on its own, and yeah. So all you gotta do is click that into place, and then screw this on. Looks like we're attached. Here's this guy compared to a normal full-bodied guitar. So you can see that this one's distinctively smaller, which is good for travel. So it's all put together, all tuned up, and just from tuning it, like this feels sturdy. I feel like you'd have a hard time damaging this if you're traveling or going around. First chord. That sounds good. That actually sounds really nice. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's nice. All in all, overall first impression is very good. After one minute of playing this, call me impressed. Initial impressions are this plays really smoothly. The fretboard is super slick. I think it's carbon fiber. You can actually see there, the neck and the fretboard are one piece. Like it's one solid piece of carbon fiber for the entire neck. And it's actually pretty heavy. Like I imagine they probably want to do that so that it doesn't get damaged in your travel. It's a comfortable guitar to play. It's got a pretty nice bevel around this corner of the guitar there which actually is smooth and kind of nice to, it's really comfortable to rest my hand on. The biggest things I look for when I'm looking for a guitar playability. Do I like how it feels? Do I like how it sounds? And I, I mean, those are kind of the two key components. They're pretty subjective, but those are the two main things I look for. I just kind of play around with it and see if I, if I like the guitar. This one plays really nice. The neck is really smooth and slick, feels fast. Like I think the sound is comparable to like a full size Martin guitar or something other nice right there. Like it's all around just a nice sound Well, you can hear it for yourself. Played through an Audio-Technica AT2035 microphone. I've got no effects or any processing on it. It's a decent microphone, but it's nothing spectacularly high-end, and so what you're hearing is just the raw guitar. You can decide for yourself, but I think it sounds nice. I 
I really like how easy this is to unhinge. Uh, like all you have to do is unscrew that part and then press this little button and it can fold right up. Like it almost doesn't look, it almost doesn't look like it should make that sound. I know, eh? Yeah. Cause like I'm looking at it and uh, it's got the weirdly placed hole. But like, it, it sounds full. So we've got this other like uh, three quarter size classical guitar, uh, and we just call it the Dinker. It uh, <laughs> it sounds like it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have nearly the same tone as this. Like this, is just like it's solidly. Here, play play with the pick, or just like strum a little bit. Yeah, like it's got a solid medium high low end. Like everything sounds nice. Is that the uh, the the volume like you normally strum at? As a whole, it's slightly quieter. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but the uh, but still has plenty of volume. Uh, so I was about to say my one critique of this guitar was that there's no pickup. But uh, I just found that there actually is one. It's, uh, it's got no controls or anything, so it's a passive pickup, which means no battery. So you can still plug it in, and if you got an amp handy, you can uh, play some metal. Because that's the first thing you got to do with all acoustic guitars. Uh, so that's really cool. That's just uh, another plus for it. Honestly, so far, really impressed with this guitar. Absolutely would recommend it. Uh, if you do end up buying it, please support this channel by buying it through the affiliate link in the description below this video. It means a lot to me and it helps uh, bring more videos like this to you guys. This is unbiased review of everything. If you think it's cool and you're looking for a carbon fiber travel guitar, then I definitely recommend this. So all in all, there's kind of my review, honest first impressions of this guitar. This is the first day I've played it. Um, and like, I wanted to do this honestly and organically so that you could see my impressions as I was actually going through it. It's just a really solid instrument. Like I was trying to find things to critique about it and I really don't have much. It seems like they really just did a good job. If I was to pick apart one thing, I would say that I wish the, I. Uh, guitar was a little more balanced. This neck is pretty heavy, which is probably a good thing because it won't get beaten up and damaged if you're traveling with it. And the body is smaller. So this neck does have a tendency to tip down a little bit um, when you're playing it. I wouldn't really say it's an impact to playability. If I was looking to pick apart one little thing, that would be the only thing I can come up with. Otherwise, just I'm really impressed with this. I would completely recommend it. And I tried to do this honestly and open so you could see my first real impressions with it. Check it out in the link in the description if you want more info. And that's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon to be notified of my newest videos. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.